Today, I'm going to teach you how to spot one of Singapore's seven highly venomous snakes. Let's find out about that in our little red jungle. Wow, look, now you have so many plants and animals. <laughs> Hello, everyone. So, usually when you see a, a photographer taking photos or videos of a snake in Singapore, one of the most common things you will hear is... Wow, wow where? It's so where? I cannot see it. Where? But that, that one, how you even spot one? Ah? Well, today we're here at Pasir Ris Park to look for one of Singapore's highly venomous snakes, the Shaw Pit Viper. And I'm going to teach you some tips on how you can spot it for yourself. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Okay, wait, hold up. Okay, so I'm going to interrupt this episode to say that when I was filming, it was a very warm day and I was filming alone and I was sweaty and I was wiping my face. So later you might see a piece of tissue stuck on my face. Uh, and it was there because I didn't realize that it was there and there was no one around to tell me that it was there. But yeah, I just wanted to address it, you know, in case you guys are distracted by it. It is tissue, it is not rice, and it is not whatever white stuff you might think that might be on my face. Okay, now with that out of the way, let's really get back to the episode. So the Shaw Pit Viper is also called the Mangrove Pit Viper, and that's why, as you can see, we are at the mangrove boardwalk section of the park. Now this snake can also be found at Sungai Bulo, Lim Chu Kang and Pulau Ubin, which are basically where all the mangroves in Singapore are. Unfortunately, because the pockets of wetlands here are now limited due to our development, this species is considered locally endangered. Now before we get into how to find the Shaw Pit Viper, I need to give you a warning. Do not by any means try to touch or handle a wild animal, especially this snake. So as I've mentioned, this is a highly venomous species. But more importantly, this snake has been recorded to be aggressive and unpredictable. And they're very likely to strike if they feel threatened. So if you ever see it close to you, please be cautious and please respect the snake's space if you ever need to walk past it. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way, how exactly do you spot a Shaw Pit Viper? Well, the first thing to take note of is that this snake is an arboreal species, which means that they are usually on a tree. And they're often found at a medium to low height. And because the unique feature of a mangrove forest are all of these pencil and stilt root structures, right? That means you will want to focus down low at those roots. Now this snake is nocturnal, so you would usually find the larger adults, which can grow up to about one meter long, sleeping motionless on something sturdy, like a stilt root or a thick branch. But if your eyes are sharp enough and you want to challenge yourself, try and see if you can spot the smaller baby ones that can be found usually called up on a twig or the smaller pencil root. Like this one over here, it's super super small, and its thickness is not even as thick as a 2B pencil, so you can try to imagine its scale. The unique thing about this species is that they come in many different colours. From an olive colour, to a beige colour, to a dark grey, to a dark purplish brown, to even a blue colour. So, some individuals are actually easier to spot than others. But a trick is to find some sort of coiling shape. So as you can see, a stilt root goes down this way, right? You know, like that. So usually what we would try to do is to see if we can find a thicker, more textured line that goes upwards like that or if it's just coiling around the root. And usually because they would rest deeper into the mangrove, further away from the humans on the boardwalk, right? If you have a pair of binoculars, bring it along and it will help you out a lot. Now again, these snakes are nocturnal. And what I've noticed is that they'll start to get active and start to slither around at around late 6pm to 7pm. However, because there are no street lights for you here at the mangrove boardwalk, I do not recommend staying too late. You don't want to walk halfway in the dark and then you fall over and then you land on one of those pencil roots. Plus, it's always important to allow such nature reserves or nature spaces to have a few hours every day without any human noise or human lights to just let nature be nature. And to allow animals such as the Shaw Pit Viper to hunt for their lizards and frogs or whatever prey items that they usually go for. Snakes like these play an important role in maintaining biodiversity by keeping prey numbers in check, which down the line will affect plants as well. 
And although a lot of people are scared of snakes because they are venomous or they look so scary, well, just know that most wild animals would rather keep to themselves. And as I've mentioned, if you respect the snake's space, you will be okay. And now this marks the end of this episode. But before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to Sportmen's Bite Size Productions, Sky Baby, Low Eli, Ping Hu Master, Just Juice, Gel Block Tango, Amaldillo, Crooked Spider, and Big Three Circles. Thank you for supporting this channel directly. If you would like to do the same, the link to my Patreon is down below. And follow me on my other social media platforms and subscribe to watch more videos of our local ecology. Thanks again for watching. And remember, keep your eyes peeled because it's a jungle out there and there is a snake just lurking beside you.